Mon Happy Monday, boys and girls. I just came from lunch. Picked up this. South Africa. Man, I thought it was Argentina. But I'm guessing this will have to do. As a as a celebration wine. I got some breaking news out of Edmonton. Alberta is getting cold It's time to get out of here and I didn't book any loads Last week even though I tried using my new load board and I have this other uh, tiny baby load board from From a one big carry over here, but yeah, the sky looks nasty. It's pretty much like Like it looks like it, it wants to start snowing and this guy parks his nice looking, I gotta admit, Silverado Z71 off-road. That's a guy in a Tahoe. So my truck is parked over there in the dirt lot. Yeah, I'm still at the hotel over here. I extended my stay by uh, two nights. I was supposed to check out uh, Sunday. So now I'm checking out Tuesday, which is tomorrow, and I got up at six o'clock today, and uh, six here. It's eight o'clock in the east, right? So I checked that I started my my load boards, and uh, right away I saw a load uh, from not too far from me going to Midwest U.S. No email address listed of course so i called the guy he has a very strange name i'll mention it later he says yeah cool and the strange first name at extension to do and i called the guy and he says yeah we have it but we need two trucks and that's sometimes you know that's uh, sometimes a problem for a, for a premium carrier like me where the chairman of the board is also the head of security and the driver because you know actually i ran into this before when I, at one one load they needed uh, five trucks and you know they're looking to load at the same time so basically they were looking for a big carrier with five trucks uh, but this time it's only two and this guy says yeah we have it it's uh, fifty-five thousand pounds no tarps it's like 19 long like nine wide 10 tall like you know perfect of course i don't need my jeep for this but it's taking me back into the proper area into midwest us from where i can easy uh, i can easily either just dead head to my uh, yard or i can find a load to, to ontario or quebec you know and so I asked him about the rate. He gave me like a US guys can make this with a reefer. So he gave me like a reefer rate. I said, can you give me this? And I added a little bit to make it more reasonable. He says, let me check with the customer. He checked with the customer. He says, yeah, your rate is approved. So basically it's nothing to write home about, but I'm making money. It's not like if I was to drive back home, empty 2000 miles it would cost me 1700 canadian or about what is it like 1200 us no 1300 us in fuel and i don't mind that but it's just it's wasting time you know like it, it would take me five days to get home from here it's like whole week you're driving and you don't know did you leave Alberta and maybe now they're posting loads in there because you know today is Monday right so Tuesday Wednesday like I'm always saying that are the best days when to book loads especially Wednesday like for me at least and so yeah I don't want to you know I'd rather take something cheap but I just don't want to drive five days for nothing you know and so this load the guy calls me back he says ah oh, and I'm thinking that's it it's canceled 
uh, he's uh, no because yeah originally the plan was to load Wednesday the day after tomorrow because he already had another truck and says you okay to load Wednesday I said yeah and then he calls me back he says uh, that guy disappeared but he says I should be able to find another truck pretty quickly and then like 15 minutes later he calls me back he says okay I have another truck so he says as soon as I have the addresses from the customer I'll send you the rate confirmation and then like half an hour later I still see nothing and I was wondering if he uh, wrote down my email address correctly and so I call him and say what the no I said hey uh, it's uh, Sergey checking in uh, how are we doing about the rate confirmation and he says yeah yeah they're working on it so you'll have it shortly and then sure enough Maybe 15 minutes later, I see my email beeps and I see the email. I sign it, send it back. Now we could accept that he told me that they cannot load Wednesday. Of course, that would be too easy. Uh, they cannot, they couldn't, they were not able to book the crane uh, this quickly you know because monday you see like cranes are usually busy you know you have to book them in advance right so now they're trying to they were trying to book a crane for wednesday and they were not able to do it so they said okay thursday and they want to load you guys together so two trucks but one they said eight o'clock one is ten and i said okay i'll take ten because i said i have a jeep on my deck right so it'll take them longer to load me because first I explained to him what I needed to do it I said it's a 9,000 pounds piece that you have to take off the deck and then I'll hook it up to it myself I do do the rest but so it's all it's gonna be I don't even have to disconnect the neck because it's gonna be crane loading it's a piece of machinery no tarp like something that broke down and goes to the factory for repairs right so that's great you know and then um, one of my old uh, contacts one of brokers that I worked with before she emailed me she's saying uh, are you gonna have a uh, RGN in the south here in the southern part of US and I checked the mileage from the place where I'm delivering this machine that I'm loading Thursday to that place is like 860 miles and I said hey I'm not gonna be too far away if you if you can wait till I deliver this and then give me two days to get to your location and she had an excavator going to Ontario you know a bit far from my place like uh, Kingston Ontario in the east but that's that's excellent you know considering there's no there have been no loads for me right and so I sent her that and she disappeared no reply no nothing so now all we have to do is just play my accordion over here I haven't posted on my music channel for a while because it's been uh, slow going I'm still learning all these notes and buttons and it's very complicated you know that's why I met uh, one of my fans yesterday and I showed him this we came to my room because he wanted to see this Garmoshka and I said, uh, so I played him what I'm working uh, you know, on and he said, hey, that's awesome, he says, that's what they say, you know, for old folks like you, that's the best way to avoid Alzheimer's, it's either learning a music instrument or learning a foreign language and he says, oh, oh, and what works for me, he says, learning, working with maps, he says, not a GPS, but he says, you try to actually find your way your route on a map and uh, I gotta admit I, I don't do that anymore I cannot remember last time I used a map but I'm using Google Maps if that counts right so anyway this is my basic four-cylinder model right the turbocharged uh, V8 model comes in uh, in December when I'm gonna be flying to Russia to pick that one up so if you don't if you don't like instruments like this just shut down the video go boil an egg
We'll be checking with you shortly. But that was the breaking news. So I got a load. Loading Thursday. It's going to be 55,000 pounds. Uh, permits should be cheap because it's, uh, like I said, it's not too wide and it's legal height. And because I'll be having, I'll be running on nine axles. So my permits should be pretty cheap because I think I'll be legal in Western Canada over here because I'll probably have like 15,000 pounds on each axle, you know, because it's 74 is my empty weight, 73.5 pounds plus let's say 55,000 pounds. So you do the math, divide by nine. So I should be legal. And I think I wanna go, I wanna go through Canada. So I only need Alberta permit and Saskatchewan permit. Then I'm gonna cross into North Dakota. And then I just need two more permits, uh, North Dakota and South Dakota. And my delivery is in South Dakota. Sounds good? All right, let's play some jazz. Well, I'm kidding, it's like Russian folk music, but I'm also going to post this on my music channel. So if somebody decides to watch it later, you know, you can either watch it here or you can watch it, uh, you can watch it on my other channel. Okay, what do we got? Fast sword, all right. <laughs> one I've been playing for like past three months this one is easy now the next one is a bit more complicated one is the the one I've been working on for the past I know two weeks and I'm still you'll see that's it that's page one page one you see I I write down like this, I just write down in, by hand the names of the uh, notes. Okay, what do you got to read down? doesn't sound right. And, oh. Okay. Hold on. Me. Really me. There you have it. 
there. Huh? Thank you.